Hi and welcome to Make Up My Guap. My name is Leanne. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's get ready. We'll talk through what's going on in life. And yeah, I'm super excited to hang out with y'all today. Um, got a new shirt. This is a Sarah J. Moss quote from the Throne of Glass series. It says, from now until the darkness claims us, the 13. Um, if you have read that series and like it, let me know down below because I freaking love it. I uh, really like that series. <laughs> so, uh, about to do a reread of it because I'm ready to reread it. Uh, okay, so uh, thank you so much for hanging out and sticking with me because this has been a crazy couple of weeks after the dog got bit. She is totally fine, totally recovered. Uh, very happy we took her to the vet for a checkup. Um, afterwards, vet said she's totally fine. Um, super excited about that. So thank you for all your kind words about her stupid tail. She um, bat back to Copperhead and got bit. Um, so we had a crazy time with that. Uh, my dogs are my uh, favorite beings on this planet. So it was it was emotionally stressful, but also other dog wanted to, I don't know, play and so trying to keep other dog off of one dog but also keeping one dog alive you know that kind of thing so anyway um we're here it's a monday morning <laughs> so it's early i got a really early head nightmares last night so i figured what i would do today is let's get ready using the new kimchi trixie mattel products that i got i will haul them and swatch them in another video so that you can get the whole shebang but i want to actually put them on my face because i've had them but I haven't touched them yet. I just I just opened the box this morning and I haven't even opened the package. So we'll actually do a first impression together because I'm excited. Okay. Uh, but first, let's get let's let's do our whole face together because I like that. I like watching people put their whole face on. If you don't like watching that, that's probably not the channel for you because I do it like all the time. Um, there's something about there's something it's an odd sensation. It's kind of also like this is gross. Um, you know, like when your skin peels after a sunburn, not that I've had one because I sunscreen, thank you very much. Uh, but you know, like some people really like that. I kind of do. And like watching it, not doing it. Um, but it's kind of that same feeling watching somebody put foundation on. Okay. Also, let me tell you these nails. Let me tell you about these nails as I put on my, uh, primer. What is my primer today? I don't know. Let's do the Laneige Skin Base in Pure Violet. Uh, this does have an SPF 25. I've already put my normal SPF on, but a little bit extra never hurt nobody. Um, this is very, it's, it's, it's runny. It's liquidy. Um, so my nails. <laughs> so, uh, two weeks ago, uh, one of my anniversary experiences, uh, our 12th wedding anniversary was this year. I had to think for a second. And, um, Mr. Mugbump and I went and got pedicures but pedicures at like a spa place not just like a regular nail salon so that it was like quiet and anyway the whole thing um and so I really enjoyed it so he booked me a manicure for this past weekend um with like the whole shebang like the hot rock massage on like my arms and hands and the paraffin wax and the whole thing it was absolutely lovely I haven't rubbed this in all the way except I got gel nails and they were I got like a pastel rainbow absolutely adorable using some of the um new xbox opi I think uh like the the gamer one anyway they have some really cute colors so i just had um the lovely spa person help me pick out like five different colors and so we did them well that was saturday afternoon look beautiful absolutely gorgeous yesterday they started just they, literally uv light the whole thing like the whole gel nail process the they just peeled right off my thumbs are fine <laughs> My pinkies are okay, but not much. So I'm going to call and say, um, hi. <laughs> it was not an inexpensive thing. And I kind of want my nails 
to be cute for longer than 24 hours. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, so we'll see what that, maybe she just picked up the wrong base, maybe? I don't know, you know, I'm not sure because literally the whole thing just pops off like it's like a fake nail. It's really strange. But anyway, so we'll call them and see what happens. Uh, if they're, if they're, they tell me what the deal is. Um, I mean, I was like, I, I, I didn't do anything weird with it. I just had, you know, a red yesterday for hours. Okay, there's that. I like this. Um, it does a little thing to help some, some yellow sallowness on my face. This violet skin base from Laneige. And then let's... I don't know what foundation I want to use today. House, let's, okay, let's try the MAC. Is it too yellow? It probably is. Should we try the MAC today? I'm trying to use up, nope, let's do this. We're gonna be good, we'll try the MAC another day. This is pathetic and also gross, but, sorry, I heard a noise. Oh, it's a dog. Um, It's my Laneige, trip. nope, it's my Leoelli Triple the Solution BB Cream from back in the day. And it is a ridiculous, it's like a 50 mil bottle. So huge amount of product in this. Um, I have used up one before and this is the, this is the last one. That's just going to be too much. Um, and we are down to this, to the drag y'all, to the drags. And so I want to use it up because I'm that person. So I'm super excited to be done with it because I've had it for years, but also super excited to have gotten the use out of it because it was great. So yay, but also please go away. So let's use this today. Um, I've got it everywhere because apparently I can't be neat with things. Let's just sponge it. Um, this has a really, really amazing coverage. This is no longer available. I know that's like, why would you use this on YouTube? Because you need to use your stuff up. Um, so do I. Oh, it's actually a Mr. Rogue one. Hello. Um, so um, I want to use it up and get it gone, but also use it up. So we're going to do that together today. I did get a new BB cream from Stylevana. This is the Farmstay Visible Difference Snail BB Cream because snails um, help you look cute. See, we're just gonna kind of take it down just a little bit and then we're gonna powder over it and don't worry it'll look cute um this is cute too this is um that's not a bad one either i have too many foundations and bb creams and everything else but see how nice of coverage that is you can't buy it anymore am i not the most horrible person on the planet if you do like really high coverage bb creams misha the misha bb cream is great and i've got i've got a bunch of other bb creams um reviewed on my channel that are really really good too I like straight out of Korea, like straight out of Compton, except for skincare. <laughs> Man, you are a horrible person. Yes, I know. Okay, there we go. Too much coverage, it'll be fine. Okay, so I'm gonna go light on the powder today because I got a lot of, I put a lot on, that was a lot. I've probably got one more use and then we can be done with her. I mean, she has lived through the wars, this girl. Okay, let's use the Joa Truly Yours Dark Circle Concealer. Also a Korean made product. Also probably put too much. Because that's how we roll over here. I have been watching uh, quite a number of YouTube videos before I go to bed at night. If that's when I usually watch YouTube is right before bed. And then I go to sleep to a YouTube video. And I've, you know, there's been quite a, quite a ruckus around, like, how TikTok is, is kind of, I guess, the new place for viral products of the beauty industry, right? So, that House Labs lip product that is supposedly like transfer proof and life proof and everything. It's now totally sold out at Sephora, all the shades. Um, because you know, like folks are, are on TikTok and doing their thing. Uh, influencers over there are different than influencers on YouTube or creators on YouTube. And 
It's interesting. So anyway, um, I was looking just at new releases last night at Ulta and Sephora. Wasn't really like stoked about, about anything really. Um, which is good for my bank account because I need to stop with the buying. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, but it, it's also, I need, I want to use what's in my, in my collection. So I'm happy, um, not to buy, but I do have a few things. There will be a haul, just my P. Louise, uh, beauty budget box that comes in every month. And then I have a couple of items that I had purchased that came in like the Kimchi Trixie collaboration, which is cute. Okay, there is one good looking face. <laughs> we're, we're, we're wearing makeup today for sure. This is not a natural look. So yeah, that's the thing. Let's use the Laura Mercier Secret Under Eye Brightening Powder and one of these here little poppity doodads and press that in. And then we'll set the rest of the face with, let's use the Malibu Glitz bronzer that's not a bronzer. It's this strange thing. It's a dollar on Shopmas A. I got some backups of it just so that I would have it um, because it is a really nice setting powder for me. It does a sheer sheen that I really like. It's strange. Like it's like, you're, that's like pink and purple. I know, but it doesn't come off that way. Unless you use a puff, cause we tried that one day. Don't use a puff with it, but it's really pretty. So there's that. Okay, we have blush, highlighter, eyeshadow palette, and lips from Kimchi. So I could do bronzer, that's it, <laughs> and brows. <laughs> so let's do a quick brow. This has been the, the thing lately, is just to take my Eye Method Beauty brow gel in 04 because it's tinted and it's the, it's a beautiful color. It fills in any kind of sparseness on my brows, which need to be shaped again. So don't come for me. They're just here, these brows. But anyway, uh, it looks great. Like it's just, it does a great job. That's it. That's all I'm going to do. I could do a pencil. I could do a pomade and all that. And I'll go through phases where I do those things. But recently that's been my go-to. Let's spray this face. And we are still working on, yeah, I've got to clean this vanity y'all. But, uh, and I'm, I say that every time, but like I really want to clean off. So that I have a bunch of space up here because I want to, I want a room to groove. There was a new fan in the Trixie and Kim G collab. It's huge apparently. I did not purchase it. I don't need it. I don't need anything, but I have two kimchi vans currently. Uh, this is not one, <laughs> but this was from Shop Miss A. And it was just pretty. And I was like, yeah, I have a pretty fan that you like for a dollar. Okay, let's do some bronzer. Let's actually, this is sitting here, so we'll use it. This is the Malibu Glitz bronzer one. Um, and this is the shade 01. The other one is the shade, the setting powder that I use is 03. Before we do that, let's um, get the concealer out of our eyes because it's there and I can't see. <laughs> okay. All right, this bronzer is really cool. It's, uh, it's an interesting thing because it's like this mosaic, but it's, it's also got sheen. Y'all, I was standing in line at Barnes & Noble. They have like a sale going on, by the way. If you're a book person, the, the their book haul is on. Anyway, on the app, they had some books for $3. And so I 
but you had to place the order in the app and then pick up in store. So I did that because who wouldn't for $3 books? Anywho, waiting in line to pick up, standing there, and lots of people in line, lots of people around. Uh, a young man was behind me, and <laughs> he was so funny. Uh, well, he wasn't. It was the, the interaction was funny. He's he's standing there, and I kind of you know how you do that thing where you kind of turn around and and just kind of glance around. Well, I'd done that. Uh, wasn't really necessarily looking at him, but just looking around behind me because I I've been in line for a while and just seeing stuff, waiting. And uh, when I did, he caught my eye, and um, I kind of I mean I smiled or whatever, and he said he goes. I like your hair. And I said, thanks, me too. And then he was like, well, that, that's good. <laughs> I said, I'm sorry, it's new. But like, <laughs> it's kind of growing on me. And I was like, literally. And then I turned around, I'm like, this person thinks I am insane. Because I am. Uh, so yeah, the, so now there's probably a worn out for my arrest for being weird to children in Barnes & Noble. Anyway. Uh, there's the base. Let's get, let's get the, let's get the new stuff on. I, I have not seen these in person, nor tried them. So, here is the blush. This is their BFF collab forever, whatever, whatever. Um, jeez. This is the BRB, BRB blush, 01 pink ERA. That's literally the name of it. Say literally one more time, Leanne. That's the name. Okay. Super cute. We love the heart packaging like all her stuff. It is. It is. It uh, has sparkles in it. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. Yeah, you will. And it's got Kim and Trixie's name on it. And these are always hard for me to open. Not normal people, but me. I've got Leanne. Hold on. It's not really hard to open. It's me. Okay, so the compact has a mirror and it's always, a, it's like a duo. So there's that. Again, I'll swatch it on um, the video where I'll like swatch everything from the collection. Let's mix them together and try them together. Um, this is not as powdery as, as her other blushes. I have all of her blushes all of Kim Chi's blushes swatched on my channel. So if you want to see um, all of the other shades of her blush releases, you can uh, go to the Kim Chi playlist, which is, uh, I'll try to put down the description below, but also if you just go to my channel and search Kim Chi, you'll get it. Um, that's really, really pretty and I like it very much. That's so pretty, there's that. I have all her blushes, bronzers, contours. I don't have all the highlights. I only purchased the ones that I would use. So I have the Pearls Gone Wild, I have the Hollywood Glow, and now this one. So this is the Double Diamonds. So that's a what the hell, what the hell highlight. Double Diamonds, this WTH, W. Okay, it's yellow also with the shimmer in it. That's cute. She doesn't have any other yellow compacts. Good glory. This is the same <clears throat> type of formula, it looks like, as her Pearls Gone Wild, which is incredibly powerful highlight. It's so beautiful. So again, double sides. One side is like a pinky blue. The other side looks like to be a gold. I'm gonna swirl them together because that's how I roll usually. I don't know if this is the best brush to pick up on. Oh no, it's there. It's very glittery. Like, super, super duper. My goodness. Gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous as 
expected. These are this. The, uh, well, I'll show you all the packaging and all that jazz. But those, their behind the scenes of their shots are so cute. Um, so cute, so cute. Okay, so there's. We are glittering to the gorts today. Good luck, work. I'm gonna I'm come and drag today. This is a BFF collab, collab pad in MV palette. And, <laughs> oh, come on, do it. There we go. So cute. They're so cute. Little, little TV on the front. Oh my gosh. I have every eyeshadow palette Kim's ever come out with swatches on all of them. Looks on most of them. Lots of glitters in this one, y'all. Lots of glitters. So, I'm counting four glitters. Four glitters, maybe five. So, this one's real glitter heavy. Um, very similar to other Kim Chi palettes. You've, you've almost always got neutrals. It's very interesting. Um, she does a neutral and a bright combo all the time in a lot of her palettes. <clears throat> My voice just left me. So, um, theoretically today I would do a neutral and I might. Um, let me think. We'll use this more than once, obviously. There are some beautiful shades in here. I mean, well, Kim Chi formula for me is everything. It is absolutely stunning. And we are gonna start with a brown because I do have to go to work, y'all. Um, and be on camera. So we, we might actually do a neutral look today um, and then do a a brighter look. We might use one of the glitters or something today. Who knows? Our, our face is gorgeous. Our face is always gorgeous, but you know what I mean. This is the shade Crepe or Crepe, I guess. Whichever. Kimchi's mattes are beautiful. Kimchi shimmers are amazing. Her formulas are consistent, except for the 25 pan colorful palette and the teddy bear palettes. They are a little bit different. You can go check those videos out for swatches and what I think about those. This so far, this is the right, this is the right consistency. She's been amazing at her formula from the get go. From Rainbow Sharks, her very first palette is stunning. It's amazing. It's wonderful. Highly recommend that palette if you haven't seen it. It's great. It's another neutral and, and colorful palette. It's both. It's both. Okay, let's see here. I'm trying to decide which glitter I'm going to use, and that may help me figure out... I want to use it all. Let's go all neutral and then we will, we will, we'll go colorful another day, like all colorful another day. This is chocolate souffle. Y'all, she's not playing with pigmentation, but super blendable. It's, it's I, I, I'm her biggest fan of her makeup. I promise you. but you can see it. <laughs> She's available on Beauty Bay, which is cool. So if you are um, one of my UK watchers, check her out on Beauty Bay, because she's there. And apparently she's got some shelf space in CVS, not mine, but uh, that would be cool too, to see her in store. All right, let's use, I mean, just easy peasy, easy peasy stuff. Let's use the this is another glitter. I did not realize that. Okay, hold on. All right, we're gonna go use a shade called Artisan Glow. This is not a glitter. I, it's, a, it's pinky, but it's uh, a metallic. It's just a pinky metallic, and we're gonna put that down kind of as a base before we use some glitter. This, I'm telling you, this is super glitter heavy, y'all. Even a shade I didn't think was a glitter is a glitter. There's glitters in it. So let's let's use. Jeez, 
I wasn't really going to use this one. I mean, I wasn't going to use a glitter there. Gosh. Okay. Let's use two glitters. This is cinnamon sugar. This is a la mode. So let's do cinnamon sugar in the center of our eye. And then a la mode on the inner part. I don't use any glitter glue. Um, with Kim's glitters or ColourPop's glitters or any of those, um, they aren't loose glitters. So I, I assume that they are there to be there and they're gonna stay and they usually do really well. Okay, so again, we're gonna use the cinnamon sugar on the center of our eye and then the olive mode on the, the front part. So let's see. I just tap. I'll show you these shades in the pan in just one second. Okay. All right, so we're, here's what we did. We did, let me get the right side of that one. This in the crease, this is the crepe. There is the chocolate souffle on the outer corner. Nope. This is cinnamon sugar, the one on the middle part of my lid. And then this is a la mode, which is on the inside. So there is a pigment. I mean, there's there's an actual, it's like glitter mixed in. This is, cinnamon sugar is just pure glitter. So no base pigment for that. It's beautiful. I mean, it's beautiful. But if you do not like glitter, you ain't gonna like this one. Trust and believe. There are many other, other palettes that don't have glitter in it that I would highly recommend if you don't like glitter. But this, I'm... I love it. I think it's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. We'll do another colorful shade. I really want, I'm just, it's just delightful. It's just a delightful color story to me. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I think it's gorgeous. I love it. Okay. So there she is. Love her so much. Okay. Let's get a, ooh, we got, we got stuff everywhere, y'all. Um, That'll, that'll, we're going to be glowing to the gods for work today, and that's all right. Let's do our little trick of eyeshadow underneath the eye with an eyeshadow stick. Just for a little bit of something. There we go. Okay. I don't think I'm going to put an eyeliner on today. I think I'm just going to leave it like it is. We'll do uh, mascara and then I'll come back and we will do lips, which is another Trixie Kimchi collab. I've got one more product to show you. All right. Mac stack for lashes today, just because I couldn't be bothered with anything else. It works great. Okay. Last thing, this is a liquid lipstick from the collection. I only bought one. There were multiple different lip products to choose from. So check out the, check it out. But this is the liquid lipstick in Spice Cake. So here's the packaging. This is the cute one that has like, these are, they're so cute. They have a little mirror on them and it's adorable. But this is, this is the, the unicarton. Again, this is in Spice Cake. Doesn't have a smell, it's a flat a flat foot, flat foot, flat applicator. <laughs> let's see how this one, let's see how this one looks. That's pretty. I picked a shade I knew that I would wear that I would really like. It's a peachy nude. That's a shade that I'm gonna wear. I don't I don't need to keep buying entire collections of things that I know that I'll never I'll never make it through it. I'll never use it up. But I want one and I'll pick the one that I know that I will use the most or that's the most unique, whatever it is. And this in this case, it was the one that I knew that I would use the most. That's pretty. It's really thin, like super thin. Um, liquidy, a touch moussey. It's pretty, 
right? That's beautiful. I uh, love it so much. Okay, there's the face. I'm super stoked. I, I am a little bit more done up for a Monday than I anticipated. <laughs> I wasn't anticipating as many glitters, but also I am super happy to have uh, these products and to use them. I'm super happy that you are hanging out with me and enjoying the makeup content because I love making it. Thanks so much for joining us. If you would, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, it really does help out my channel. Thank you so much for all your support. We love you. Uh, stay tuned for the haul and all that jazz. It'll be coming up uh, soon, so stay tuned. Y'all have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.